Hello there everyone, it's Lydia here and welcome to my crafty corner. Today I'll be sharing with you how I've created this little gift um, using some masking. Um, I'm going to be using masking using a piece of acetate. This means that the mask will be able to be used over and over again and it'll be available to use as long as you want it to be because it won't run out and it won't pick up any ink. So let's get into it shall we? I'm going to be using the Circled Sentiments from Altenu. I really do love this set. It has so many different sentiments on there. I'm going to be using four of the sentiments for each of the note cards that I have created today. So I've just added my sentiment into place where I want it to be on my card in the center and I'm using my Misty because this will make it easier to create all the cards in a flash. So I've added some permanent black ink and I'm going to ink this up twice so I have a really really bold black image. As you can see the sentiments are negative in themselves so you're just stamping around them and I really like this look. To create the other ones in the same style, I'm popping the next sentiment on top of the one that I've just stamped and then I'm going to move this note card out and bring another note card in. This way I know that the sentiment that I'm going to stamp next will be in the same place as the one that I've just stamped before. So I stamped all four of them in the same way and then I've created my masks. So I've just used the circle sentiments die and I've created four masks out of um, a thin piece of acetate. I'm gonna be using the alt new glue tape um, to adhere this to, to act as a mask and I'm just gonna take a little bit of the sticky off. So this does work as a repositionable adhesive so you can use it in this way as well. I'm then gonna be using the winter rose set and I'm gonna be using two of the flowers from this set and some of the leaves. So I'm gonna place these down into place where I want them to be. And I'm just gonna shut the lid on my Misty. So I'm just placing the two flowers down at the same time because these are gonna be the same color. I'm just gonna pop my Misty shut and then my flowers will be in place. As you can see, the mask isn't that sticky. So I've just popped it back into place because my stamps picked it up. For this layer, the base layer of the image of the flowers, I'm gonna be using the buttercream. I do love this lovely soft tone of yellow. So I'm gonna add this as my first layer. I'm inking them up really, really well. I'm gonna flip my uh, base on the lid of my Misty over and stamp them into place. I'm making sure that I'm pressing really hard on them so I get a really good image. I've removed that note card and popped another one in. So I'm gonna add a mask onto this. Again, I'm using the Alter New Glue Tape, taking a little bit of the stick off and then popping it in to place over my sentiment. So again, I'm gonna ink these up. I am gonna be using the same colors on all of the note cards. The only thing that I have changed on the note cards is the sentiment from Circle Sentiments in the center of my images. So again, I've used the buttercream, I'll stamp that down and I will do the rest all the same so that all my four note cards are gonna have the same colors in them. I'm just adding the layers on top into place and then I'm gonna shut the lid and then I am gonna be using some frosty pink for this layer. I love how quickly these cards came together in the end and you could create loads and loads of these in one sitting if you wanted to. Just changing out the sentiment in the middle or changing up the colors that you're using would make a really lovely gift. So at the end, what I did is I just popped these all together so I can give them away as a little present. So as you can see, I'm doing all of the layers the same. So this is the, the frosty pink again. I'm just going to turn that over, pop it down and then move on to the next note card and then again move on to the next layer. So once I've done all the layers on all four of the note cards, I'm going to take the third layer from the Winter Roses. I'm going to pop these onto place, shut the lid on my Misty and then I am going to be using some Peach Perfect Crisp Ink for my third layer of the flowers. So I'm just gonna ink them up, shut the lid, and then they will be perfectly in place because I've already lined them up on my stamped image before. So I've just removed that note card, and then I'm gonna stamp all four of them in the same way again. Just pop that down, and then there's the flowers nearly complete. So to complete the flowers, all I need to do is add the little 
outlines. Now these aren't full outlines, they're kind of um, a representation of outlines and they are very, very pretty. So I'm gonna pop them into place, shut the lid on my Misty again, and then I'm gonna ink these up using some industrial diamond ink. I didn't want them quite as dark as the sentiment in the middle, I, but I did want them quite dark, so I've chose a really dark gray. And as you know, the link inks will dry a little bit um, lighter because they are dye inks when they dry. So I'm just gonna pop the leaves into place where I want them to be. And then again, shut my misty, I'm sorry. <laughs> you must be sick of me saying that. So I'm just gonna open it up again and I'm gonna be using the Silverstone. I'm gonna ink these up and then pop them in to place. And then I will do all four of the note cards using these two leaves. So again, I'm just gonna remove this one, pop the next one in, and you can see that if you do have like a little line of these going on, you can create lots of beautiful cards in one go. Just by switching out some colors would make these look really, really different, I think. So once I've done all four of them, I'm then gonna pop the second set of leaves back in place because you know me, I do like my odds when it comes to my foliage. So I had to put three down. I wasn't happy with the two, although it did look pretty with the two. I'm a little bit happier with the three of them on there. So again, I'm just gonna go through all of my note cards and do exactly the same. Okay, so once I've done all my stamping. All I'm going to do now is I'm just going to remove the mask from the center sentiment and there are there is it is complete. So here are all the cards I have. I have love, you are my world, smile big and hello there. I really do love how these turned out. So just to make these into a little gift, all I did was I added some envelopes and tied a little bit of twine around. And there it is, nice and simple, and it's such a lovely little thing to give, especially um, when people don't tend to give cards, they can give one of yours out, which is really, really nice, and it will make people smile big, I hope. So, thank you so much for watching. There are more videos here if you would like to go and see some more. We would love it if you did subscribe to our channel so you wouldn't miss out on any videos that we upload to our channel. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you again real soon. Goodbye.